In eastern Ukraine today, there was another show support for Russian-backed rebels. More than a thousand pro-Russia demonstrators gathered in Donetsk. They called on Moscow to protect them from the Ukrainian military. Kiev blames the rebels and Russia for the escalating violence. And caught in the middle, those who have little to do with the conflict. Here's Mike Armstrong. The Mikhailov family has a lot more to worry about than the occasional barking dog. Olga and Vladimir are raising their four children in Slovyansk right now, basically in a war zone. She says people died on Main Street Tuesday. She's scared to stay, afraid for her children's lives. Even the local hospital was hit this week. A mortar blowing a hole in a wall and debris damaging two buildings. One of them a facility for diagnosing children's diseases. For the Mikhailov family, recent weeks have been traumatic and getting worse and worse. <laughs> Vladimir points to a nearby park where shells hit a few days ago. The house shook, he says. We spent all night in the basement. <laughs> Some of the heaviest fighting in recent weeks has been in and around Slovyansk. The Ukrainian military has pounded positions held by pro-Russian militiamen, but they're dug in. The military had its most deadly day of the conflict Thursday when a government helicopter was shot down in Slovyansk. Fourteen soldiers were killed, including a general. Now, there are no numbers for civilian deaths. It's information that right now is impossible to gather, but the estimates are in the dozens. Sofiansk would normally have 120,000 people, but many have left and more are leaving. The self-declared mayor, a separatist rebel, says his forces are helping people with transport. He says children should be taken out first. That's what he's working on primarily. The Mikhailovs have had enough. They've moved to a monastery about 30 kilometers outside town, hoping it's safer for their children. Mike Armstrong, Global News.